cold. That's a rock. <laughs> she got stuck. Let's catch you up. We're on our second week in Alaska and about to embark on our most exciting adventure yet. This is Walt, owner and operator of Gulcana Raft Rentals. For a very reasonable fee, Walt will pick you up, provide you with the raft setup of your choice, and drop you off on a day of adventure on the wild and scenic <laughs> Gulcana River. I love it. Uh, trying to get everything ready so that we can start our rafting adventure. What, what? We're excited. Should be good. Ready to go because the mosquitoes are eating me alive. Hey, it should be a really good day because um, as soon as we get on the water, all the mosquitoes will be gone. The mosquitoes here <laughs> suck. <laughs> DJ's coming up on his first crazy rapid. It's a class 0.5. We <laughs> <He> just. <laughs> <laughs> she got stuck. <laughs> Are you good? He was about to hit that rapid. Maybe he won't get stuck like I did on the last one. That was really embarrassing. Oh, you're good. So we are like 10 minutes into this trip and we are having the best time because it's awesome. This is definitely one of those you should go do. And it's cheap too. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. How much do you think one of these things cost? That's what I was wondering. <laughs> I love it. We originally planned this as just a rafting trip, but then when we heard the fish report, we thought, well, we can't skip out on fishing. Right now, salmon fishing on the Gulcana is as good as it's ever going to get. And each specific region in Alaska and river system has its own set of rules during certain months. So you really do have to look on the website and know what those rules are. So one of the things is if you're above the Richardson Bridge, you can use pretty much anything that you'd like, uh, whether it's fly or spin cast or like what we're gonna do. Um, but you can also use treble hook or single hook. As soon as you get below the Richardson Bridge, you have to use single hook. And if you don't, Fish and Wildlife can come get you and those fines are pretty hefty. You have one on your ear. Nope. Other side. Yeah, I should. <laughs> super, super.
super duper scary dark cloud. That is what we're running from. We are paddling fast and hard, trying to get away from that. And every time we think we round a corner, we've got it behind us. We make a turn and there it is again. So lots of thunder, no lightning yet, but either way, we'd like not to hit it. I'll wait for you to get over here before I beach. Well, it's too much to ask for, for a perfect weather day. We just heard a big roll of thunder pulled off to the side, just hanging out. And uh, so now we're gonna hop back on, paddle down river and hopefully beat the system and chill out again later. We'll see. The Golcana River was designated as a wild and scenic river in 1980. It winds its way some 80 miles through wild country, at times meandering calmly across the landscape and at others raging its way through. The river is home to an abundance of wildlife above and below the surface, making it one of the most popular sport fishing rivers in all of Alaska. It's beautiful here. I just lost a big old fish. I don't know if it was a salmon or a trout or what it was, but I put my line right behind one of those big boulders where Walt said, hey, that's where they definitely hang out. Hit the water, one, two, three, fish hit the line, ran, and then maybe had him for 10 seconds and he broke off. Such a bummer. The bigger bummer that he took my lure with him. That thing was not cheap. Whew. Time to stop fishing for a second. Rapid, right ahead. Can I do this single handed thing? Yeah. Nah, I think I'm gonna need my second hand. <laughs> it's beautiful though. We're moving now. What's going on, baby? Beautiful day in the river. The weather has kind of cooperated, actually. Um, it's raining, you can tell from my sunglasses, but so far the thunder stopped, so that's a good thing. We're seeing bald eagles and the rapids have kicked up, which has been really fun. Yeah, this is just a great time. There is nothing I can think of to complain about except for that little bit of thunder. It's not hard. Anybody can do it. It's a good time. Just check your weather, maybe. I don't know. I mean, our weather's not bad, it's just not great. It started off wonderful. There's just storms everywhere. There's a storm there, there's a storm there, there's a storm back there, and we can hear them, and we can see them, but so far they're pretty much not affecting us. So fingers crossed we make it back safe to the pool out, and all is well that ends well. But if there was a bad storm, and for whatever reason you were caught out here, there's plenty of areas to get away from the river, so that's a good thing. Cheers, baby. Cheers. I'm really, really, really going to need a shoulder massage tonight. That's not happening. <laughs> Good luck! Bon chance! <laughs> oh crap! Trusty 
continue to warm me at the moment. We kind of had trouble reading like the river because the instructions were pretty clear uh, but he said there were several landmarks that you'll pass it. He's like you'll know that that's it. There's no way you won't notice it. And we didn't notice them. <laughs> so either we were having a really good time or they just weren't as obvious to us as he thought they were going to be. But anyway, we can see the bridge which is our final point. Um, we each caught a fish, neither one of us got to keep it. My trout was too small and DJ's salmon spit the hook right as he pulled it up. Uh, so that was a bummer, but that's okay. And uh, so now we're just gonna fish this little section, finish a beer, and then paddle our way back to the house and call Walter to come get the boats. But phenomenal, amazing day. A little gray, but it never really caught us. Um, so yeah, nothing to complain about. Cold. This beer is cold. <laughs> bring beer. Always bring beer. Why not? Today was a lot of fun. It was a workout though. You, get, you gotta be ready for that. Like, my shoulders, you know, I feel, I feel lively. Using the two separate rafts was amazing. Uh, meant that I could be fishing a little bit or Katie could be fishing. We didn't have to worry about who was doing what, when, or I didn't have to paddle her around and she didn't have to paddle me around, but it was nice. And then if one of us got a fish on, the other person could continue fishing and moving to wherever they wanted to move. So that was really nice actually. So if you have the ability and you can, I would definitely take these little uh, pontoon rafts instead of the single person. Raft. They called them fish cats. Fish cats? Fish cats. Actually really, really sad that it's over. You know, when we talked about coming to Alaska and what we wanted to do while we were here, one of the big things for me was to get on a river and float a river and maybe even fish a river. And now we've done it. And for the longest time, it felt like a dream that was so far away. And today, we did it. This, this was awesome. 